That's extraordinary. I'm a little extraordinary. I £500,000. I've been very lucky. You haven't even been brilliant. <laughs> you haven't been lucky at all. I just said, I've been very lucky. You have not been very lucky. You've been absolutely brilliant. Right, have a look at this one. Have a look at that. £500,000. Only two people have gone away with that. Peter Lee and Kate Hoyser a couple of weeks ago. You've yeah. got that at the moment. You can obviously walk away with that. You're guaranteed £32,000. You can walk away now with £500,000. You might as well have a little peep at the question because otherwise it'll nag you forever. And also I think you'll find the whole country wants to see the question anyway. <laughs> if you give me a wrong answer, you still get 32000 you lose £468,000. <laughs> That's quite a lot, Judith. Yes, I know. Gosh. <laughs> but it's worth a million pounds. Have a look at question number 15 of 15. Which king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Henry I. Henry the Second, Richard the First, Henry the Fifth. I think it's Henry the Second. <laughs> I saw her tomb, funnily enough, in, in France this summer. And what did it say on it? Well, I. <laughs> that's, that's quite I important. I hope it said that she was married to Henry the Second. I said I wasn't going to gamble when I came back, and I sort of can't resist it. <laughs> you've got £32,000 at the moment, you've got half a million. I did it at school for A-levels, and I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Take it was your time, a long take as long as you need. Um, I do think it's Henry II. I think it's Henry II. You lose £468,000 if you're wrong. I know. <laughs> but 32 is very nice. <laughs> it's not quite as nice as 500000 No, it's not Judith. as nice as five. But I, I, am, I am fairly sure it is Henry II. Can you afford to lose £468,000? Well, can anybody? <laughs> Just take your time, have a look. There's nothing on my screen. It's worth one million pounds. I, I think it is Henry II. Oh, my heart. Mm. I think it's worth going for. It's up to you. I'm going to say Henry II. Final answer. Yep. Final answer. One of those four is worth <laughs> one million pounds. Three of them would cost Judith Keppel four hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. Find out what the right answer is in a couple of minutes. Oh!